Hey everyone, it's Vosk. I'm here with Tails, and we're going to be mining an exciting new coin today. And someone is giving away 2,000 Pigeon Coin to someone who posts their address in the video description below. Did I just tell you guys the coin that we're mining today? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Vosk Coin YouTube channel. And today, we're continuing our latest playlist of what are the best cryptocurrency coins to mine in 2018. So we covered Raven Coin, we covered Snow Gem, and we covered Pearl. Today we have another new exciting project to cover that is less than three weeks old. So if you're unfamiliar, we have our community tab on the channel, and we asked, what would you like to see more videos on? You all voted, different crypto that can be mined. So here we are, a new crypto that can be mined. If you watched our recent video about Ravencoin, a lot of this will be familiar to you because the coin we were talking about today is a fork of Ravencoin. This coin would be, yeah, you guessed it because we already said it in the intro, Pigeon Coin. Pigeon Coin is a fork of Ravencoin. It's using the X16S algorithm. It's called Shuffle. Basically, the way that the Ravencoin X16R algorithm works, it's a, it's a little harder on your components and you get big spikes in hash rate and power usage. However, on the Shuffle, it creates a more linear shuffling pattern based off the last digits of that block number, which is a pretty cool way to do it. All of the miners available to mine X16R have been or are being updated to mine X16S. And at a simple mining, SMOS has loaded these miners into their dash. And you know, we love SMOS here, so that's what we're gonna be using here today. If you're wondering what 8, 10, or 1070 TIs look like hashing away on this algo, we're pulling 76 mega hash a second. Before I explain how to mine Pigeon Coin, why do you want to mine it anyway? Well, again, it's a project that's three weeks old. And we inspired the developer to get into mining. That's really cool. If we inspire your crypto project, uh, I'd, be, I'd love to feature you on the channel, period. When I was first getting into crypto, you were the voice that cut through the bullshit and helped me understand what the economics of small mining was. And that's why I'm here. I mean, that's the truth. Uh, we had an actually interview with Luke, the lead dev here, the creator of Pigeon Coin, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to post a full interview on our channel, but we are working on a new sub-channel of Voscoin, which will house that full interview. So make sure to connect with us on Facebook, Discord, and all our other platforms to stay up to date on all those advancements. Pigeon Coin is intended to be a currency, as opposed to Ravencoin, where if Bruce has said that if people trade it, that's fine, but he's not so concerned about it being a currency which is quite a bit different than than my position about Pigeon Coin. And he's very specific about wanting to tokenize. While I think that's needed, I have no interest in taking Pigeon Coin in that direction. We want to do something different. Um, if you can think of Raven at Raven Coin as greasing the rails of tokens, Pigeon Coin is going to be greasing the rails of basically using cryptocurrency for everybody, not just for crypto guys, for everybody. But we're going to do it we're going to do it in a way that I think is going to be unexpected to most people. And as soon as I'm ready to share that, I would love to call you and have that conversation <laughs> on the record. Give, give, me the first, give me the first call this time. So you got a brief idea of how Pigeon Coin is not aiming to compete with Raven Coin, but kind of work in the same ecosystem, which is interesting. And it's not really even on any exchanges yet. So if you want to get in on a project pretty early, here's your shot. I downloaded their QT wallet, which is clearly a fork of the Raven QT wallet, and works great. I haven't had one issue with it. You can see my transactions right here. I've been switching some miners around, so you'll see that gap here, no big deal. If you want to receive, you know, you put whatever label you want here, just, you know, supernova, like say that's the mining pool I'm going to be receiving. You will, this is totally optional, and you can request a payment, and you're going to get that address. If you're unfamiliar with Simple Miner SMOS, please head to the channel, go to our search bar, and put in SMOS. Once you do this, SMOS Guide Miner Setup is going to be what you want to watch. I even cover, you know, Flash in the USB. Once you have done that, make an account, log in, and you're going to go to Rig Groups. Once you go to Rig Groups, you're going to click Add Group, and then you're going to select whatever miner you want. In my testing so far, I have found that Super Miner and Nevermore. 2.2 hash the best on pigeon but you're like well which one of those two well for, in my experience they're hashing about the same however super miner has a zero percent dev fee nevermore has a one percent dev fee so it was an easy choice for me with this being a cc miner fork very very easy setup 
you can see the algorithm pool port user password so just to give you a comparison this is what it's going to look like set up i mean obviously you're keeping the algorithm the same you're going to load the port or the uh, mining pool url today we're using supernova mining pool which has proven to be a very awesome stable reliable mining pool in the past for us supernova is the kind of pool where i can go to bed and wake up and know that the pool made it through the night so the question is did the miner but anyway so we grab the port number from their getting started page if we head over here we'll go to help and we will go to getting started once you click on help it'll have all of your information right here you do need to make an account first some people get tripped up mining with supernova it's pretty simple basically you're just going to create your you're going to put your username right there dot worker name and you have an extra step here so you're going to go to my account my workers once you get to the my worker page you need to put a worker name whether it's you know i like shiba's and your password is x then you have to load this into the actual miner software you know it could be dollar sign rig name and that's how smos pulls your name from the dashboard or just to keep it simple add a worker name there and then put that same worker name here and you're done so once you get this all filled in it'll look just like this and that's what it looks like completed you always need a name so for example i did super not super minor 1.6 is the version pigeon is the coin and supernova is the pool description doesn't matter you're going to click add group once you click add group you'll click back over to your rig list you'll select whatever rigs you want to assign to this we're going to go down here find the group that you just made for example super minor 1.6 pigeon I always go with reboot when you're changing completely right there click save and the rig will reboot i've already done that if you have any other questions like overclocking i'm running 100 core 200 memory and 125 watts for power limit on 1070 ti's i'm running the same core clock settings on 1080 ti's but with 200 watts i'm not saying these are the best settings ever but they are absolutely stable again something you can go to bed with and knowing that with supernova your pool will be online and your monitor will be online tomorrow which you know it helps you on your day-to-day -day life remember when we were talking about the wallet addresses earlier if you're unfamiliar with supernova then you need to know that you need to click on edit account on the sidebar and then come down here and put your payment address in and your pin and then update your account that is how supernova functions so the question still remains should you mine pigeon coin is it a good investment was boss coin paid for this video and did he sell out well, some of the answers are gonna be maybe up to you and no. I was not paid for this video if you're wondering. I'm really sick of hearing that in the comments of the YouTube description. So if I was gonna give my initial impressions review of Pigeon Coin, well, here it is. So first, I'm gonna start with their white paper. This is their white paper posted directly into GitHub. I actually couldn't even find the website. I should have asked Luke, but uh, I mean, I wanted to see if I could just find it on my own accord. And without digging through a bunch of stuff, I could not find their website. That is not a good sign. Here's their white paper, X16S. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's how the white paper starts. It, it should be pigeon coin. You can tell this is just a piece of it. It's almost like this is just one piece of the white paper that's upcoming, hopefully, right? So this is what it says for the white paper. This is better than nothing but i'd like to see a full white paper i mean as with everybody everybody likes to see a full white paper so that's a little disappointing but i will say what is promising every single time i click on the pigeon coin discord server i see their lead dev luke in there talking engaging with the community which i will say is a pretty big and almost like fanatical community already i think they're pushing three to four thousand members so let's look at this guy sorry razor you're spreading a little bit of fud right now in the past couple of videos i i did a couple easter eggs of this upcoming video but they were not the video so anyway so on a serious note we scroll through here we see the community helping each other this is cool this is good to see for example here's luke talking to his people cool that's cool to see but I, I you know if i had any kind of criticism for the project here i would say take a step back from engaging with the community and focus on you know what makes your project look more legitimate such as a nice website a full white paper and so forth and don't get me wrong i'm not trying to be mean or critical here it's just a review and with that you know i think they're doing a good job it's a community ran project there's no dev fee dev tax so you know take it for what it's worth luke told me He's got enough funds to do this full time for a year. And I mean, his plan is to make this fully operational and profitable for him within a year. So the only way for this to actually work for me is if I make Pigeon Coin good enough that I can transition into starting a private company that also provides value back to Pigeon Coin. 
but I am happy to hear that this is his full-time project for at least a year. So it's almost like a ticking time bomb. You got one year to make it happen. So ultimately, should you mine this pigeon coin, this wannabe raven? Is it a wannabe raven? I don't think so. We are not trying to replace Ravencoin. We are going to be so different than Ravencoin that in the future I'd like to see both Ravencoin and Pigeoncoin operating simultaneously and just demolishing our respective mar markets. You know, I think that Pigeon Coin has a lot of room for improvement, but again, I don't mean to sound so critical. It's a very young project, less than three weeks old. If you're interested in getting in on a project very early where the difficulty is going to be low and those block rewards are going to be high for you, now's your shot. I'll have the settings I use pasted in the description of this video if you want to just grab those and go with SMOS or you know download the miner on your Windows computer or use HiveOS, whatever you'd like to do. If you're wondering about day-to-day -day profitability, you can't judge it yet. On 61080 Ti's on the old CC miner software, before I updated to the better ones, I was pulling about 3,600 coins a day just a couple days ago. So let's say you know that was worth four cents, and I can't do math. So let's say that was worth four cents. I would have mined $144 in the last 24 hours. Come on, that's pretty wild. I thought GPU mining was dead, man. This is why we are so excited for our new playlist of all these small coins to mine that could have a giant upside on the Bosscoin YouTube channel. With that said, please make sure to subscribe and make sure to not forget to drop your pigeon coin address below in the video description because you, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, someone out there, I don't know who it is, is donating 2,000 pigeon coin to a lucky commenter in the video description below. And that's just what I heard, okay? That's just what I heard. That's just a rumor. I don't know. Well, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll be home.